Hi guys, so um, today's video we are going to be doing a um, like a combined glute and core circuit. So something that shouldn't take that long to do, um, but definitely firing up kind of like all of the core, all of the glutes, like the hips basically. So that, you know, the stability that you need when you lunge into the corners of a squash core or whatever it is, um, is really getting fired up. I mean, obviously we use the lunge and the legs, which is the glutes and the adductors and, you know, the top of the legs in general, but it also comes from a lot of stability through the core and that rotation and being able to hold a lunge in rotated position. So um, I thought today's video would be um, a really good way to kind of combine the glute circuit that maybe I've touched upon before in another video, but also, um, you know, also, also building in a little bit of core with it. So, and I'll also try and do another video um, with just the core session on as well, so we can go um, just all out on the core but it's a really good a really good session for starting with the glutes switching to the core getting back to the glutes switching back to the core so I uh, hope you like it and um, this is the glute and core circuit so first up on the circuit we're going to start with um, a round of glutes it's going to be um, really similar to the glute circuit that we did before but it's going to be 30 seconds of each exercise but just on one leg so we'll start on the left leg and we're going to do 30, 30 seconds of each of the exercises that I'm going to take you through. So laying on your side to start, we're going to start with um, a glute clam. And we're going to go for 30 seconds. So again, you're looking at the heels of your feet being in line with your bum, really firing up the, um, the, the glute as you as you lift your, the leg so you're not swinging back with the body but you're actually using the glutes to move the leg up and down and then from there we're gonna do um, mini circles for 15 seconds each direction so that's switch direction. Next exercise is a straight leg raise. So just lifting up and down for 30 seconds. And then the next exercise is we're actually going to come onto our backs and we're going to do 30 seconds of a single leg glute bridge. So the right leg will be out in front straight and the left with the left glute we're just going to push up and down. Try and hold for a second at the top. Really trying to get the hips level. Last five seconds, last one. So that's the first round of the glute circuit and we're gonna go straight in to a round of core. And the core is gonna be um, 30 seconds worth of work and 10 seconds rest. So we're just gonna time that um, on my watch so the beak will go off. So the first one that we're gonna do is leg lowers. So straight into that. Try, if you can, to have the head down, resting on the floor. If it helps to have the hands just underneath the bum, just to support the lower back, that's a really good thing. If this is a little bit too difficult and the back's really coming up off the floor, you can switch to single legs. Or bent knee. But I definitely recommend the full leg. So 10 seconds rest, and we're gonna go into ankle taps next. So knees in as close as you need to be able to touch the ankles, and we're gonna tap. Last 
last five seconds. And then 10 seconds rest and we're gonna go with a leg miss. So that's knees in together, hands in together, and then straighten both out at the same time. Making sure that the back's pushed into the floor as much as possible. Again, if you struggle in, single arm, single leg is a really good option here. Otherwise, legs out together, arms out together. Legs straight if you can. Last five seconds. And stop. So that's the first round of um, the glute and core done. So we're now gonna do the second round of the glute work. So we're just gonna do the same as what we did on the first round. We're gonna switch sides. So out to the right hand side. And we're starting with a glute plan. And the next exercise is just going to be the mini circles. And switch direction. Next exercise is the straight leg raise. Last five seconds. And the last exercise onto our backs and we're doing the right leg with the glute so left leg out in front push up with the right glute hold at the top for a split second Last one. So that was the second round of the glute circuit. Um, so we're now even with the glutes on both sides. So the second round of the core will be the same again. It will be 30 seconds work with 10 seconds off. A um, little bit more of, um, so whereas the other one was a straight with a twist and straight, this one's going to be a side with a straight and a side. So we're going to start off on the right hand side with side lifts for 30 seconds each side. And as, as much as you can, keep the hips in line with the ankles and the shoulder underneath, the, the elbow underneath the shoulder. And we're gonna go for 30 seconds. We're going to switch sides. You can have your heart arm wherever is comfortable, really. For me, it's always on my hip. Some people like it above, some people just like to hover it. 
I always feel like it's uh, it's best on my hip or I'm probably adding extra weight. <laughs> Great, uh, next one is a, is a regular plank. So coming into elbows under arms again, and off we go. seconds done and the last one is going to be Russian twists so if you'd like to hold something in your arms um, I'm just going to hold a roller and I'm just going to twist it definitely activates the hip flexors a little bit more if you've got your feet off the ground if you'd like to just have your heels on the floor still works the abs just as hard but without that extra stress on the hip flexor So that's two rounds of core done, two rounds of glutes done. We're just gonna do uh, another round of glutes, a slightly different set now, 30 seconds each exercise, going into a little bit of groin work with the glute work, um, and then one round of core to finish. So the next set of the glute work is starting off with uh, stand, standing foot circles. So we're just gonna stand up away from our mat for this. Stand back if you can, if you can still see me. <laughs> Um, and we're going to just, if you need to hold on to something for balance, obviously go ahead, put the foot out to the side and just going to twist for 30 seconds, changing sides halfway. Now immediately I can feel it here. <laughs> so that's totally normal. And if you can, try and stay completely straight and lift your leg as high as you possibly can. Switch direction. Sorry, my head's chopped off. Can't get my camera to zoom out anymore. 30 seconds. And we're just gonna switch sides. So just move over, got something to lean on if I need to, and off we go. So try, try, try if you can to stand as upright as possible. Quite hard to even balance on this leg after doing that for 30 seconds, but that's normal. Switch direction. Next exercise is a groin lift, so we're coming back down into the glute clam position with the leg, the bottom leg out straight and just lifting up and down. So the top leg is just resting on the floor and the bottom leg is working. You should feel it into the uh, groin muscle a little bit. we're going to switch sides so again bottom leg straight and top leg just stop over in front and we lift the bottom leg up off we go that done and the last round for the glutes is the bridge with alternating leg lift so from this position as before we're just coming up into the bridge and then we're just lifting one leg at a time off the floor 
for 30 seconds. So we should really feel this in the glute firing up. The leg can just come sort of level at the same angle as the leg that you see. So we're not looking at that or that, just sort of level with the leg that's standing while all the time, hips up. So not as time goes on, we're not sinking the hips, we're really firing the glutes up to keep those glutes working. And last one. Great. So that was the second round of the, uh, of the glute work done. We've just got one more round of core to finish uh, and that's the session done. So we're going to do the last set, same as we have been, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off to finish. And the first exercise that we're going to do is leg cycles. So we're coming down onto your mat, about the watch, 30 seconds, and off we go. So you're really looking at really extending the hips out. So you're not kind of looking at that, but really like every movement, quite deliberate, straightening the legs like you would be on a bike knee. We're not circling so much like this, but almost still stretching one leg out at a time. Next one is opposite elbow to opposite knee. So we're in a crunch position and the alternate leg is stretching out straight. and the last one to finish we're going to do a set of reverse crunches so legs up in the air hands can go underneath the bum if needed and you're just going to crunch up quite a tough on this so just go for as many times as you can in 30 seconds Well done guys, so a little burner for the glutes and the abs, um, definitely a session that's great, maybe if you've done um, a little circuit or, or been for a run outside, really good way to just finish off or even a great way to start the session as a bit of a glute warm up and just get the core firing and then off you go for a bit of a run, stretch down after. So that was the glute and core combined circuit, um, hope you enjoyed it, let me know.